Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services. What we got here today is a misbehaving um, Microsoft Surface. The problem with these computers is that they're built one way. They're built nice and solid, but when they break, there's you cannot take them apart. They're, if it's just a tablet, uh, the screen will crack if you try to open it. In other words, we'll try and fix this without having to take it apart. This has the classic blue screen of death. Uh, it just loops with this automatic repair garbage and it does not solve the problem. So if we push and hold the power button, it will shut off. Come on. For some reason on these things you gotta hold it long much longer than on regular computers you try to turn it on and uh, instead of going to windows uh, it will just go into the preparing automatic repair so it just basically does that on a normal computer, I would replace a hard drive. On this computer, uh, if there is a hard drive, it's most likely on board. So not much can be done about it. Uh, we are going to try and wipe the system completely. Uh, there is nothing on here that person needs. Uh, We're not going to recover anything. Uh, we're just gonna try and fix this computer. So let's push and hold and kill the computer once more uh, there are a couple of things that we're going to need for this procedure we're going to need a usb drive this one is windows 10 i like windows 10 more than i do windows 11. Uh, once we install windows 10 test it out we can uh, upgrade to windows 11 i'm sure we're going to need an adapter from uh, USB 2 or 3 to USB-C. You'll see in a moment. So that goes here. We're going to need... Oh. <laughs> We're going to need a mouse. Uh, corded, cordless, doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter where this USB adapter goes, where it goes on, whether it goes on a mouse or on a... Um, the flash drive doesn't matter so this is the installer for windows 10 the mouse uh, the computer only has usb-c audio jack and the regular usb on this side just the power connector um, battery is okay but i'm gonna keep the power plugged in all right let's connect it up we're gonna connect our mouse and our USB. We need to do some prep work to this computer before we can uh, get it to boot off of a USB. Uh, it's designed to boot internal. So uh, this is how you get this computer into the BIOS mode. You push and hold the volume up button. This is true on a tablet also. You push and hold the volume up button. This one actually has a little pimple on it. So um, you, they kind of tell you that this key is special. F8 is also special. We don't use that one right now. So we push and hold the volume up button and we start the computer by pushing the power button. We hold that until we see um, our BIOS screen. Okay, inside of the BIOS screen, the mouse is working, so we are going to need, I'm going to have to look for it, on boot configuration. Okay, uh, in the boot configuration, the USB storage which is on the top here right now, it is usually on the bottom. So all you have to do is just drag that over and you can see the USB storage is on the bottom. Drag that oop, to the top, 
Oops, come on. Hard to do it upside down. And now USB storage is on top. That's all we need to do. We want to make sure that the computer first boots from the um, USB hard drive. And uh, we go to exit and restart now. As you can see, it's blinking now, so it's reading the USB. And it's going to take a little bit, and it's going to go into the USB boot. Once it's in the USB boot, we can uh, basically uh, reinstall Windows on a computer. Uh, most computers come pre-installed with all kinds of recovery software. You can try and do recovery. In my experience, every time you try and do recovery, it fails when you have this looping problem. Because in most cases, it's a problem with a hard drive. If this one, I don't know if we're going to be able to recover. I'm going to wipe the hard drive clean uh, and then see if it takes the windows. If it doesn't take the windows, this computer is trash. Uh, you cannot replace a hard drive. Now, why did we need a mouse? Unfortunately, once it boots into this mode, not the mouse, not the keyboard, they don't work. You have to use an external mouse. This is a trick to get this computer to respond. So let me go to next. Install now. Let me see if I could bring the display closer. I hate these reflective screens. Can't see properly. Okay, we are going to Okay. I'm going to click OK there. Next. We're going to do custom install. And now it gives me the hard drive. Thankfully, this computer sees the hard drive, internal hard drive, and uh, we can manipulate with it. Sometimes you turn on the computer, you go through all this headache, and it does not see the internal hard drive. The reason? You have to get the drivers to activate uh, communication between the uh, driver card and uh, the hard drive. So in any case, not a problem here. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete all these uh, partitions on the hard drive. We don't need any of them. Delete. Okay. If I could pull the hard drive out, I would do diagnostics on it. Um, this does not actually, I'm, I'm saying hard drive. This one does not have a hard drive. It's a solid state. Okay, and now we just click Next. So we only have one partition. It's clean. Uh, one looks like one terabyte drive. Next. Also, what happens when you do um, delete all the partitions from the hard drive is uh, if I'm saying hard drive, I mean solid state in this case, but it doesn't matter, just terminology. Uh, all of the uh, partitions deleted. When you install, reinstall Windows on a hard drive, <clears throat> it will use different location for the Windows uh, operating system, which means that um, even if the hard drive has a problem on it, it will use different locations. So hopefully it will not cause a problem immediately. Eventually it will still cause a problem. In my experience, and I have a lot of experience, uh, hard drive replacement in this case would be absolutely, absolutely um, 
imperative. You, you want to replace your hard drive or solid state. Um, however, in this case, it may have been a virus that caused this problem. If a virus causes this problem, wiping the hard drive is not a uh, no-brainer. Also, <clears throat> these computers often come with a BitLocker enabled. If the BitLocker is enabled, um, I have one of the videos where this is the procedure you do. You just wipe all the partitions of the hard drive, reinstall it, it works again. The BitLocker does not use any um, hard drive's hardware to encode it. It just writes on top of it. Uh, it just uses its own encryption to use the hard drive to basically create it unreadable. It is still visible by uh, recovery machine. It's just you cannot get it without having that key. You cannot access it. In general, BitLocker, I would recommend not using it. Just more problems than solutions. In any case, as you can see, the installation is progressing. Uh, I may have to resort. I didn't think about it right now, but I may have to resort at plugging in the keyboard if I have to connect it to my uh, Wi-Fi. Now, once the computer is working and we can boot into Windows normally, the keyboard and trackpad might not still work. If that's the case, uh, you have to install all the updates and all the drivers before you can use the keyboard on a computer. This is kind of strange that it does it. Um, not sure why would keyboard and mouse or trackpad not work. Uh, and actually the touch screen does not work either. So this particular, and I've tried it with Windows 11. Uh, I didn't do the wipe, uh, but I tried the Windows 11 disk and just to see if any of the drivers are included in Windows 11 for um, Surface, they're not. So Windows 10 installer or Windows 11 installer work exactly the same. <clears throat> I like to have, so when I create the installers, uh, I put a date on it. So this one is from September of last year. So this installer is actually over a year old. So a lot of updates are going to be put in by uh, the system once this is complete. And I like that because that gives me a good testing on how the computer is operating. So right now it's going to reboot and it's going to boot right from the uh, uh, USB. So that's a problem. Um, Let's see if it does it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's just going to go back to USB. Uh, no. Okay, good. Smart enough to see that uh, there is an installation on a hard drive. Um, but see, the installation was there before. It just didn't work. So I guess uh, uh, the installer is smart enough to say, hey, don't boot from me. Oftentimes it's not smart enough. And uh, what happens is if you don't pull this out, it'll continuously boot from the USB because we put it number one. Uh, then you pull it out, restart the computer, and it'll boot from the in internal hard drive. Uh, at this point, all I'm looking for is just to uh, have the startup st screen come up. And uh, um, if the startup screen comes up, that's basically 99% uh, of the job done. However, I shouldn't say 99, probably about 90. The other 10% would be installing all the drivers, all the, um, all the stuff to make the computer work like it's supposed to. And actually this one can be pulled out right now. Uh, core of the Windows has been transferred to the internal um, disk and uh, it doesn't require this. It's still blinking. I don't know what it's doing, but it's still uh, communicating to the USB. Hi there. 
I'm Cortana. All right, so and a I'll lot of stuff help. works. Let's see. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready so for all the So keyboard and mouse do. don't work. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay Let's quiet, see. just select the little microphone see, icon towards works. the bottom of your screen. Let's make you quiet. Okay, the mouse works. It's going to go through its uh, procedures and steps. <coughs> Say yes, um, yes, skip. So, as you can see, the procedures is, is not that hard. Uh, we're gonna just do don't have internet and uh, continue with limited setup. And this is the reason why I like Windows 10. And here we have a problem. <laughs> The problem is I have no keyboard, can't type on it. So I have to get um, get an external keyboard here. So the keyboard that I like to use is this. It's got the mouse, got the keyboard. It's wireless, but as you can see, so I don't lose it, I have it <laughs> visible. And Let's unplug our mouse. Computer should be smart enough right now to re realize the change. Change of heart. I'm going to see now I can type. I just don't know what to type. Okay. And this screen, I like to disable almost everything. <clears throat> I don't agree. If I have a chance not to agree with something and still be able to use the computer, I'm not going to agree. Uh, don't need this. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I really, all I want to do is just get the computer to a position where it does not restart itself in a circle and actually gives us the ability to restart the computer and use it. And at this point, everything seems to be going just fine. Uh, once I have the uh, desktop in front of me, then we can do some more research, like uh, how many drivers this thing will need and uh, what is what. It might take several minutes. Boy, it's really taking its time. Almost there. There you go. And now, let's see, I don't know why it lost focus, come on, all right, come on, what's going on, as soon as the screen became not black, let's see what Okay, what I want to do is just unplug this. Could have unplugged it sooner. Don't need that. We're just going to restart it and see. Okay, and see if the internal keyboard works. So the sound we know is working. So some drivers are okay. Thank you. 
So yeah, the computer is working fine. Now it's a matter of, uh, oh yeah, I want to see that. Now, of course, the keyboard is not working and uh, the mouse is not working, but that's something that we can work on. Let's see. Connect to the internet. Come on. It's a little hard to work upside down. Okay. Enter. Uh, this question, if anybody wants to know what this is, is if you want to enable networking. Um, okay, we got that. Let's look. Let's look at how many drivers are missing and we just open the explorer right click on this pc and go to manage and device manager Oh, uh, everything's missing. Okay, that's fine. We are going to, now that it's online, we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to updates and let, yeah, so it's gonna, there. Lots and lots of updates. So at this point, the computer is working. It's just a matter of uh, getting the drivers installed to uh, activate the keyboard and everything. Hopefully this helps somebody. If uh, you can get your computer working, give me a like, enjoy, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, let them below. Thank you for watching. There, see, it's installing drivers. It's installing um, like a video driver and stuff. So it's just gonna go through and install. Thank you for watching, bye.